eyes in the dark. So I work as a consultant. Well, I should say that I did. This all started in 2019. Me being a 32-year-old single mother of two, who could not get the father to pay any child support. I could barely keep a roof over our heads and food in our mouths. The job that I worked barely gave me 30 hours a week. A girlfriend of mine told me that I was a sexy redhead MILF and that plenty of men would pay for pictures of my body. I was not sure about all of this at first. It took me a couple of days of convincing to start up an OnlyFans account with the help of my friend Erica. I was able to take photos of myself in many sexy outfits. Things picked up relatively quickly. And before you know it, I was making a lot more money. I was getting guys telling me how hot I was and how they would treat me like a goddess. For the first time in almost a year, I felt sexy and amazing about myself and my body. Everything started looking up for me and the kids. One day, I walked back into my work. And before I could sit down at my desk... My boss, Margaret, walks in and pulls me into the office. So, Jessica, one of our clients has informed us of a provocative site that you are using to, as we say, sell your photos. Yes, I tell her. Things have been tough here, and with the kids, I just can't afford to do things alone. Margaret stared at me with the most disgusted look that I have ever seen her give anyone. She then tells me that she is sorry, but we are going to have to let you go, Jessica. What I have been told and shown from our client is very unprofessional and looks horrible on us as a business. Grab your things and leave at once, she stated, pointing at the door. I tried reasoning with her, but nothing seemed to work. I grabbed everything off my desk and loaded things into my car. I was on the verge of crying. On the way home, I give Erica a phone call and explain everything to her. Well, she says, why not just work more on OnlyFans? You got the body. In hell, if we were both lesbians, I'd ravish you myself, she said with a chuckle. Girl, you always know how to cheer me up, I tell her as I pull into my driveway. But maybe I can just do it until there is a better opportunity for me. Well, she said to me over the phone, I will help you, and we can go shopping for some new sexy clothes. We made a day to go get a few things from the adult store in town. A few see-through nighties, lacy sets as well. I took her home and modeled for her while Erica took pictures of me. A few days later, I get a message from somebody. Upon further inspection of the profile picture, I noticed a client that we had at my old job. Hey, sexy mama, it said. I wrote back, hey, are you the one who told my boss about this page? Yeah, he said. I thought that if I told her I could meet you in person and talk about paying hard cash for a personal show. I replied, because of you, I got fired. And now I have to hope on paying the bills just off of this site. I'm sorry, he replied back. I think that you're hot. What if I took you on a date and we have sex at my place later? I just know once you have a taste of me, you will want more. And also, I could help you out with your problems. Dude, no, I replied to him. I am all for making money legit, but what you are asking is basically prostitution. I'll not subject myself to that. Now leave me alone. Okay, honey, but if you change your mind, I will be here. Suddenly, he sends me a $100 tip through my messenger. Whatever, I told myself. This dude is just creepy. But let's hope that he doesn't bother me ever again. Nothing was sent from him for weeks. I found a job making more money than I did at my last job and left OnlyFans behind me. Sometimes I miss the men making me feel sexy. I do miss the easy money. The only thing that I am glad about is not worrying about another creep contacting me through there again. I still have the page open, just so that I can get what cash I can make from tips or whatever. I don't post anything or message anyone back. Whenever the money stops, I plan to delete it permanently. I was being tormented by someone that found my OnlyFans account a couple of years back. Before I get too far into things... Here is what has happened. Back in 2019, I never believed that a nobody from a small town in Texas would be able to make money to survive. One day I came across a site called OnlyFans. I did some research on the site and figured, why the hell not? Everything went off without a hitch. I made videos and took pictures of myself. 
I went on a few sites to advertise what I was selling. Everything picked up even faster than I thought. After a couple of weeks, I got a random message from a bald guy by the name of George. The message read, I know who you are, and you should watch your back, bitch. Nah, there's no way he can know where I live, I had thought to myself. I deleted the message and thought nothing else of it. I went on for the next few days, forgetting all about George and that message. When I get another message, this time my name and address was on it, stating that this man George was coming to visit me real soon. Suddenly it kicked in that the situation I was in became out of hand, and I didn't know what to do. All I wanted was to make easy money so that I could pay the bills and make some extra cash. I did not expect for someone to stalk me or even find out where I lived. I grabbed my keys, and then suddenly there was a loud knock on the door. I jumped with fright and slowly walked towards the door. I saw the man who was in that photo. He maybe stood about five foot nine. He had a gut and looked about forty-something years old. This is seriously bad, I thought to myself. I grabbed my cell phone and called the police. Before I hung up with the dispatcher, the police had arrived, and the man ran off. The police officer ran right after him, chasing him down the road as fast as he could. After a few minutes, I looked out my window to see the man being put into the police car. The officer had knocked on my door. I opened up and talked with the officer. After giving a statement to the officer, he had told me that when they checked him, they found a few of my nude photos, a love letter, and a gun. I asked the officer if I could read that letter. Going against my better judgment, I opened it up to read this. Dear Sophia24, you're so damn sexy. You make my dick hard. I fell in love with you from the moment that you posted your first picture. I will make you mine, even if that means killing you and keeping your sexy body in my garage. About to puke, I had handed the letter back and got my information from the officer to file a restraining order. The next day I went down to the courthouse and filed my restraining order. After a few weeks, I went in front of the judge, got my permanent order. Later on I found out that this man, whose real name was George, got charged with an unregistered weapon and stalking. After everything was said and done, I left OnlyFans so that there would be no more people like George following me and stalking me. Who knows what would have happened if the cops did not arrive when they did, or what would have happened if George did not send me that message and just came over and barged into my house. I'm a 25-year-old blonde-haired, blue-eyed woman. I created an OnlyFans two years ago because my job at Dollar General was not giving me enough hours or pay to sustain myself. Everything was going fine. It was slow growth. After a few months of doing it, I started making a lot more money. After a year, I could afford to quit my job and post pictures of myself in lingerie and playing with myself way more often. Eventually, I met a guy who did not care that I sold pictures and videos on OnlyFans. As the relationship went on, we both thought that it would be a good idea to have sex on there. We both made a killing when suddenly this weird guy subscribed. This man looked familiar, but I could not figure out who he was. Life had went on for a few weeks. When that man gets a hold of me and mentions that he jerks off daily to my videos with my man, and it was the hottest thing that he has seen in years. Of course, being the sweet person that I am, I chatted with him, explaining the kinky ideas that I had for further content. Eventually he comments that you don't remember me, do you? Confused, I tell him no. I do not, but he does look familiar. This man then replies that he was my high school teacher, that he always knew that I was special, and that he always wanted to fuck me. Suddenly, I was getting sick to my stomach. This was one of my teachers, and he was jerking it to my videos. Now he admits that he wanted to fuck me, even back in high school. I tell him that it was wrong to have sex with a high school girl, that he should be ashamed of himself. He replied that it's only bad if I did those things. Yes, I wanted to try with you, but instead I would go home and just take care of myself while imagining you. I told him that he is disgusting, and this conversation was over. Before I could block him, he sends me one other message, asking if my boyfriend and I would like a threesome with him, that he really wants to take a crack at that ass. 
I was about to throw up with the idea that this man had said all this to me. I went through and reported his messages and blocked him from my page. I told my boyfriend about it and then went on with my life. So I thought. He subbed once again through a different profile and started messaging me again. I blocked him and it just continued on for weeks. Eventually I made a profile on another site just like OnlyFans and have not had any issues since then. I do hope that he does not find me here. Yes, I do still post on OnlyFans, but I don't reply to messages. I post and then get off. I get them to deposit my cash into the bank and walk away. I just hope this guy does not find me on my other page, and I hope that I never have to see him again. I'm a 21-year-old goth woman who has decided to make an OnlyFans with my boyfriend. My name will be anonymous. My main content is me in sexy outfits, and me and my boyfriend having sex. I was enjoying my work until one fan decided to steal my content and sell it on other sites. This person was pretending to be me and used my pictures from my Instagram, my OnlyFans, and Twitter to use for their own personal gain. I was not aware of my content being stolen until a friend off of Twitter who does the same line of work got a hold of me. Both my boyfriend and I searched the link and started running through all the social media that was linked to an Instagram account that had all my content on it. During this time, I had decided to give this person a chance on correcting their actions and posted the pages to all of my social media. There was no reply from this person. I did get some leads from someone who knew this person and I was directed to an email. My boyfriend started off with asking them why they had stolen content and to please take it down. There was no reply, so I messaged this person with a threat to get my lawyer involved if it didn't stop. The reply goes like this. Hello, I do not know what you're talking about. I am the woman that has been posting pictures of myself. You should be ashamed of lying about those pictures being you. I will not take these profiles down, and there is nothing that you can do about it. After we read the emails, my boyfriend told me to just take it up with our lawyer. During the visit a few days later, she told us that there is a way to contact this person. So the lawyer got all of the evidence and started making a case for us. During this time, we both contacted Instagram, Twitter, and any other site that we found this profile on. Eventually, we got it removed a couple of weeks later. We both sent in original links and emails that we used along with our lawyer contacting them for the person's name and any other information that they would give. It's been a long four months, and we are about to go to court with a lawsuit. I'm hoping that this ends quickly so that I can start enjoying my life again, and I hope this person will learn a lesson about stealing people's pictures and videos for personal gain. I'm a 20-year-old female who joined OnlyFans while living with my parents during college. I did not tell anyone what I was doing. All I wanted was to make some extra cash during my college years so that I could pay my car bill and buy some food. Things went slow at first, but eventually picked up. About a year goes by, as I was at home alone taking pictures, I get a knock on my door. I run to look outside and notice my 50-year-old neighbor outside. Okay, he may just want to talk to my dad, I thought to myself. So I open up the door, and the conversation goes like this. Hello, Fred. I'm sorry that my dad's not home. I will tell him that you stopped by if you like. Fred replies, No, Jenny. I'm not here to talk to your father. I wanted to talk to you. Oh, okay. What can I help you with, Fred? I had asked him. Well, I saw your profile and wanted to know if you were looking to make some extra cash. Confused and thinking that he saw my Twitter post about making some extra cash and some ways that I can, you know, get a side job, I asked him what he was talking about. Fred then says that he saw my OnlyFans page and wanted to give extra cash for my sexy pictures. Instead, he thought that it would be a good idea to give me the cash if he got to have sex with me. Um, I looked at him appalled. No, Fred, that is nasty, I told him. I'm not having sex for money. And I'm definitely not a prostitute. Fred then retorts with, But you would on OnlyFans, right? Yeah, I tell him, with my boyfriend if he was okay with it. Well then, he states, What your boyfriend won't know won't hurt him. We could have sex together, and I'll pay you $200, plus you can make more by posting it on there. 
No, I yell at him. My man is subbed to my profile and helps me sometimes takes pictures of myself. <laughs> he will know, and I won't cheat on him, nor will I ever have sex with you. Fred just chuckles at me and says that he would beat my boyfriend's ass. He claims that he was not afraid of my boyfriend, so if I changed my mind, I know where he lives. He walked away, and I slammed the door shut. I told my boyfriend about this encounter, and all he says was just to let it go, that everything will just be fine. So I took his advice and continued on with my day. I have not heard from Fred since that day, and hope that he does not try to get me in bed again, because, ew. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell for notifications on future videos and become a stalker of the night, and I'll see you next time.